Hello.
Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. How are you? Yes, I'm not bad. Okay. If you could turn your camera on, I can see you. That'd be great. Hello, teacher. Hello, Nian. How are yeah, you? Hello. I'm fine. And you? I'm good. Uh, yeah. I've got my coffee. Yeah. Yeah. It's morning <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah. It's evening here. Yeah. Did you have a good day? Yes. Uh, it's a normal day, like what's, every day. What's the weather like? Uh, hot. Hot. Yes. Okay. What's the temperature? Maybe 36. I don't, I'm not sure. Oh, that's hot. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, the whole world is getting hotter. Yes. I spent a lot of time in Europe, in uh, Germany, and um, I started going to Germany in like 1974, a long time ago. Mm -hmm. But back then, there was no air conditioning in Germany, not in oh. houses, not in houses, not in cars, not in stores. And now in Germany, everybody has air conditioning. <laughs> it's strange. Yeah. Yes. Uh, at that time, is it hard? Is what hard? At that time, you are to Germany. Oh, I, uh, I used to teach German. I, I learned German in, uh, at the university. And uh, then I went to Germany and I studied there. And I, I love the German people. I love the German language. They're very nice. Um, and they love it when you speak their language. And uh, oh. so, yeah, I traveled all over Europe. Uh, so how, how old you go to another country? Yes, I've been to uh, I've been to France, I've been to Switzerland, I've been to Sweden, I've been to Norway. I've no, no I've never been to Norway. I've been to Denmark. I've many, been to so many. Austria. Yeah, all over Europe. But I've never yes. been to Vietnam. Oh. <laughs> I want to go to Vietnam. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would love to go to Way. Hmm. You have a chance. I also want you to want you to visit Vietnam. In Vietnam, we have many uh, beautiful views. Yes, and mm -hmm. many the history place. Mm hmm. Uh, you can visit it uh, to understand uh, some like uh, some history of Vietnam. I think I'm very proud uh, pride about my uh, country. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, the way you say that is. Uh, let me put it in chat. I'm very proud of my country. Yes, I'm yeah. very proud of my country. Yeah. <laughs> English is Thank so you. difficult. You know, you have to say proud of. You can't say any other preposition. It has to be proud of. Wow. Yeah. Yes. So your mother and father are proud of you. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You make them very proud. Mm. 
I will I will show I'll share a picture with you. Um hold on a second. Where is it? Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to share a picture with you. If you want to know what I am proud of, these are my sons. Oh. I'm very proud of them. <laughs> <laughs> They're what twins. Are you? They're twins. They're so handsome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think so too. Yeah, this is uh, this is Casey. He was born first. And then Mackenzie was born 11 minutes later. Oh, twins. <laughs> yeah, twins. <laughs> but they're not, not identical. They're not the same. They look different. Yeah, I'm very proud of them. And Mackenzie is very proud of his new sports car that he bought. He bought a very fast sports car. It's a Corvette. He bought? He bought it, yeah, with his own money. <laughs> yes, very good. Yeah, <laughs> he loves it. He's very proud of it. Oh, uh, what? What are the job? What? What are the? What? I'm sorry. What are the job? Job. Oh, their jobs. Okay. Well, um, Casey, um, he, he works real hard. He works in a, in a warehouse and he moves things around in a warehouse, but Casey is also a rock and roll drummer. It's so cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, Mackenzie um, works for the United States government and he helps people after a disaster. So like when we have a tornado or a hurricane or an earthquake and people's houses are damaged, he helps them find uh, a new house he helps them get food and water. So when we have emergencies, Mackenzie is, he works for the United States government and he helps people. So his job is helping people after a disaster. Um, let me see, let me stop sharing that. Uh, I can show you something ab about Casey about, oh, at least 10 years ago. Let me see. Um, here we go. Okay. I can share this with you. This is my son, Casey, playing the drums. He was uh, in a competition, like who can play the best drums? Oh, <laughs>
one of the tension rods loose on the kick truck. He broke the drum. That's hardcore. <laughs> okay. Nice. How do you feel about that, Casey? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm very proud of my son, both of them. <laughs> okay, so uh, I wanted to introduce you to an American man who is a chef. Have you heard of Anthony Bourdain? No. Okay, well, I'm going to introduce you to him. And he loves Vietnam. And he's going to tell you himself. Let me make sure that I'm sharing everything. Share screen, share sound. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. My first love, a place I remain. I've been all over Vietnam, a place I feel a special connection to. My first love, a place I remain besotted with, fascinated by. So back in Vietnam, one of my favorite places on earth and uh, all of the things I need for happiness. Low plastic stool, check. Tiny little plastic table, check. Ooh, something delicious in a bowl, check. In this case, a local specialty, calm hen, <coughs> clam rice, sweet, meaty little local clams out of their shells, tossed with a wild swirl of mung beans, white rice, spicy green chilies, crunchy roasted peanuts, fried pork rind, and cilantro. And a similar variation with rice noodles. Got fish sauce with chilies in it, and whoa, that'll just singe your eyebrows off. Throw some chilies in. Hit with some hot clam broth, and you're on your way. I'm back. Back in Vietnam. Giddy eating grin for the duration. A giddy, silly, foolish man beyond caring. And a cold local beer. Huda, my preferred brand, went ever in way. Clams with pork cracklings. How could that not be good? This is the way so many of the great meals of my life have been enjoyed. Sitting in the street, eating something out of a bowl that I'm not exactly sure what it is. Scooters going by. So delicious. I feel like an animal. Where have you been all my life? Fellow travelers, this is what you want. This is what you need. This is the path to true happiness and wisdom. <laughs> so that's Anthony Bourdain in your hometown. <laughs> OK. Yeah. All right. So um, I want to ask you a favor. Um, I want to show, let me see. Um, where is it? Here it is. I want to ask you to turn your cameras on. And if you want to, you can do this. If you don't want people to see the room that you're in or the house that you're in, you can do this. You can go down to the where the video is and click this little arrow right here. Click that and choose virtual background. And then you can, you can see this. And if you have none, there's, there's no virtual background. But if you select one of the virtual backgrounds, like I selected beach, then you can show a beach in your behind you. <laughs> so this, this is something that you can do if you want. And uh, let me show you how it looks. I'm gonna stop sharing. I'm gonna go choose a virtual background. 
So I'm gonna go to the beach, okay? Hello everybody from the beach. <laughs> Aloha. <laughs> okay. So you can see the waves and the palm trees and the water and the beach and the sand. Or I can choose the Aurora Borealis. Or I can go to outer space. Hello from outer space. <laughs> or I could go into the grass like a little insect, like a little ant crawling around in the grass. Or I can go to San Francisco in California to the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, also, I can choose video filters and I can, I can show you some Christmas lights. Uh, I can go on TV. Lou. <laughs> um, I don't know what this is. Let's see what this is. What is this? I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, I can put on a mask. Okay. Okay. I could choose none. Virtual backgrounds, I could choose none. Okay, so this is something you can do if you want. And all you have to do is um, let me share again. So the way you do this is you go to the video icon and you click on this little arrow right here. It looks like this. Click on that. Click on choose virtual background. Okay, and then you can choose, you can choose, okay? So if you want to do that, that's how you do it. Click on this little arrow by video choose virtual background and then you can you can have that in your background does anybody want to do that because I, I would like for everyone to turn your cameras on so i can see you if i can see you i can talk to you better any questions about virtual background you can do this if you want just click on that little arrow by stop video, click on this. Don't click on this, click on this. <laughs> okay. And then you can choose a virtual background. All right. All right, so I just need to let you know that I'm going to be, um, recording this Zoom lesson in video, and then I'm going to put it on YouTube so that other people can see this class. <clears throat> and so this is just telling you that you're gonna be on YouTube. Your class is gonna be on YouTube. And thank you to everybody for turning your cameras on. It's much better when you turn your camera on. Okay, any questions about this? I'm gonna stop sharing this. Okay. All right, so this is a, a class where you can practice speaking. So anybody who wants to talk can talk. All you have to do is unmute and talk. Does anybody want to tell me about your, your plans, your goals, your dreams? Anybody want to tell me about how you want to? What you want to do in the future? Do you want to travel? Do you want to come to the United States? 
Would you like to come to the United States? Yes. Oh, okay, good. Yes, me. Yes, <laughs> okay, so that's a dream. Okay, I hope you do. I hope you do want to come to the United States. Um, anybody want to say anything? You're welcome to talk. Anytime you want to talk, um, you can talk. I would like to ask you one question. Yes. Um, so what are the things you think is impolite in a conversation? Well, um, I've just been reading about, um, about Vietnamese culture. And one of the things that I read was that um, it's considered impolite in Vietnam to look at the person you're talking to. And in the United yes. States, in the United States, it's the opposite of that. <laughs> Like people think it's impolite if you don't look at them, <laughs> okay? Yeah. So that's one thing. Um, I think it's impolite when students come to class and they don't have all their clothes on. I think that's impolite. <laughs> yeah. And I've had students do that in my classes. <laughs> okay. To me, it's okay to drink something during class. That's okay. But I think it's not a good idea to eat during class because it's a speaking class and you can't speak very well if you're eating. So <clears throat> does that answer your question? Talk. Did that answer your question? <coughs> Excuse me. Any other questions? So please forgive me if I look at you when I talk to you because I'm an American and I, you know, I it's in the United States we are we are supposed to look at the person we're talking to. And it's impolite if you don't look at them when you're talking to them. And, you know, a parent will tell their child, um, a parent will say, look at me when I'm talking to you, okay? That's what children are taught. And a teacher will say to a student, look at me when I'm talking to you. So that's the way we teach our children. Okay, and in Vietnam, it's completely different. Is that true? Does everybody agree that's true? Yes. Okay. In, um, when, when my parents, when I and my parents have an if I make a contact with my parents, my parents uh -huh. will consider that it's so impolite. Right, okay. Well, thank you for telling me. I, I'm trying to learn about Vietnam and so when I read a book, I want to, I want to ask you, <laughs> is this true? You know, the things that I'm reading in a book. So thank you for telling me that. <laughs> have you ever, have you ever been to Vietnam? No, I have never been to Vietnam. I would love to go. Just like Anthony Bourdain loves Vietnam. I think I would love to go. Um, I do love Vietnamese food, and there are lots of Vietnamese who live in my city, and so there are lots of Vietnamese restaurants, and so my favorite thing to eat in a Vietnamese restaurant is pho ga. That's my favorite. Pho oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. And there are many Vietnamese like to, restaurants here. Yes, I was like uh, my school to have a foreign teacher to teach directly and we can contact with the teacher. 
Mm -hmm. Well, that's what we're doing right now. Your school hired me to teach you. And so here I am, and you can ask me anything. <laughs> Does anybody want to ask me anything? Did you, I introduced my sons earlier. Does anybody want to ask me anything about the United States or about my hometown or? Um, let me do this. Let me introduce you. Let me, um, let me first, I'm going to show you a map of the United States first. Let me see. Okay, let me close that. Let me minimize that. Okay. Now, I'm going to share this picture, uh, a map of the United States. And can you tell me where I am? Do you know where I am? Where am I, I in know. the United States? Can you guess? Maybe at home or so. Yeah. Where? Arkansas? Oh. This is, Ar uh, this is, wait a minute, where's Arkansas? Here's Arkansas. No, I'm not I'm in Arkansas. Playing. I I lived there one time, but I'm not there now. I think uh, you live near beach. Near the beach? Uh, yeah. Not, not too far from the beach. I can get to the beach in about, if I drive my car in about five hours, I can get to the beach. Oh, quite far. That's a good clue. <laughs> uh, no, that's not too far because when I lived in Arkansas, I was a long way from the beach. We couldn't even get seafood very good in Arkansas. I think about if you lived like here, this is, you're a long way. As a matter of fact, one of my friends in Arkansas, one of my friends said he had never, ever been to the beach, ever. He'd never seen the ocean. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Okay, That's a shame. I know. <laughs> so. Uh, that time I use, I use my teachers that are in your area have storm so i get you live near beat the beach she said that we have what storms i think storms. storms yes yes we had a storm this week a very bad storm and it it took my internet out um yeah but there are storms all over the united states but here we have tornadoes. I don't know if you know tornado. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> A tornado is on land. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Any other guesses where I am? <laughs> Atlanta. Yes. <clears throat> and where is Atlanta? <clears throat> is Atlanta north, south, east, or west? <clears throat> oh, boy. It's true. I am in Atlanta. Where is Atlanta? Is it north? Is it south? Is it east? Is it west? Where is Atlanta? Okay. Is your home <laughs> near the beach? Uh, if I drive my car for five hours, I can get to the beach. So let me show you where Atlanta is, okay? Atlanta is here. Can you see this? Yes. This is Atlanta. So if I drive for five hours, I can get to the beach. I can get to the Atlantic Ocean. This is the Atlantic Ocean, see? 
So I have to drive for five hours. But my state, Georgia, is a very interesting state. And Atlanta is a very interesting city. And now I'm going to introduce you to Atlanta. Okay. So here's Atlanta and it's, it's in the Southeast. It's in the South and it's in the East. So it's in the Southeast. Okay, and now I'm gonna introduce you to my hometown. Let me close this and open. Let me see, do I have, already have it open? No, I wanna close that. Here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna introduce you to Atlanta. And if you have any questions, please ask. So this is Atlanta, Georgia. This is my hometown. This is where I live. It's a big city. It's about six million people. And it's very international. So Atlanta is in the state of Georgia. And Atlanta is the capital of Georgia. So Georgia is the state, they call it the peach state because we grow a lot of peaches. Do you like peaches? Of course yes, you like peaches. <laughs> yes. Well, here, they grow a lot of peaches in Georgia so they call Georgia the peach state. But Georgia is the state, Atlanta is the capital city. And this is a river that runs near Atlanta. It's called the Chattahoochee River. Can you say Chattahoochee? Chattahoochee. It's good, perfect. <laughs> that was perfect, Nian. Yeah, it's, an, it's a name from, uh, it's a Native American name. Indian name. Okay, so here's the ocean. So let me show you what Georgia looks like, the geography of Georgia. So Atlanta is about here. Okay, so in the north of Georgia, we have mountains, the Appalachian Mountains. And then the mountains get lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. And then in the south, it's kind of flat, but in this part of Georgia, they grow a lot of vegetables and nuts. Do you know the nut uh, pecans? Do you know pecans? It's a kind of nut. There are lots of pecans grown here. And then here is the beach. So Georgia has beaches on the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, so now let me go back to showing you Atlanta again. Okay, <laughs> so Atlanta is a beautiful city. And this is downtown Atlanta. So lots of tall buildings. And um, Atlanta also has a lot of trees very tall trees, as a matter of fact, okay? And this is why we, when you said we have storms, this is why when we have storms, we have problems because then the trees fall and it, we lose electricity, we lose internet. So but anyway, Atlanta is a very beautiful city. This is a park right in the middle of the city. And here is a view of <laughs> Atlanta, looking north. These are the expressways. We have a lot of traffic in Atlanta.
So I live up north, in the north part of Atlanta. A little for, you can't see where I live, but I live in the north of Atlanta. So there's there's a um, many many um, important companies in Atlanta. Uh, this is an IBM building. IBM is a company in Atlanta. I worked for IBM for a while. This is a, um, okay, I'm hearing a lot of background noise. Um, this is a concert in Atlanta. It's at the <laughs> Botanical Garden. So it's a beautiful place. And you can uh, buy a ticket and go hear music in the park. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Music in the park. <laughs> it's great. Okay, Neen, I'm going to mute you because I'm hearing a lot of background noise. So if you want to talk, just unmute. Okay, so this is a concert in the park. The airport in Atlanta is the world's busiest airport. Busiest airport in the world, okay? You can look that up if you want, but it's true. The Atlanta airport is the busiest airport in the world. It's a very big airport. Lots of runways. Lots of terminals. Or these are concourses, and this is the terminal. I think I can guess. I think maybe I will get lost here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's easy to get lost there. But if you know what you're doing, it's easy. You just have to. It's like visiting a a city. You know, you have to learn your way around the the city. But yeah, and let me tell you a little bit more about the airport. This is the international terminal. So they have a special place in the airport just for international flights. So if you want to, if you want to fly from Atlanta to Way, you would start here. And if you fly from Way or Hanoi to Atlanta, you will land here. Okay. Excuse me. Yes. Uh, do every state have such a last airport like that? Many states do, but the reason Atlanta has such a big airport is because um, it's the biggest city in the South. And so um, we have, well, okay, since the, since the Olympics were in Atlanta in 1996, Atlanta has become very international. And Atlanta has always been a place where people come for transportation. <clears throat> and they say, you know, if, if you want to go north, you have to go through Atlanta. If you want to go west, you have to go to Atlanta. Um, so Atlanta is just a very important uh, transportation hub. Excuse me. Um, there are many very big airports in the United States, especially um, in New York and Chicago. Chicago is the second busiest. And then like uh, in California, you have a lot of big airports um, or some places have uh, smaller, more like many small airports. Oh. But Atlanta is the busiest airport in the world. You can Google that if you want and you'll see it's true. This is the international terminal. This is just for international flights. 
not for flights in the United States. This is flights going out of the United States or into the United States from outside. Okay, so this is a new, this is about, oh, I don't know. It's new, it's five, six, seven years old, but it's, it's very cool. And it's, um, it's very um, elegant. You can see it's, it's beautiful. Okay, so one thing about Atlanta is we have so many trees. It is a big city with lots of tall buildings, but we still have many trees in Atlanta, okay? It's a beautiful place. I in in I live in a house and in my at my house we have some huge trees, just very, very tall trees at my house. Okay, if here are some things you can do in Atlanta. You can go to the botanical garden and see lots and lots of different kinds of beautiful plants. And there's a whole building for orchids. Uh, it's a very interesting place to go. We have the Georgia Aquarium where you can watch fish underwater. Okay. This is called a whale shark. This could be you right here. Okay. <laughs> this could be you. If you come visit Atlanta. Okay. So Atlanta is the international home of Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola's home is in Atlanta. So if you like Coca-Cola, you're drinking a little bit of Atlanta. <laughs> okay. I really love Coca-Cola. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink Coca-Cola, <laughs> but a lot of people do. Uh, but anyway, this is the, um, this is the um, Coca-Cola Museum. It's called the World of Coca-Cola, and you can visit it. The, the, um, the international headquarters is in a different building, but this is where you can go. See, you can get your ticket and go in. So let's go in the world of Coca-Cola and take a look. Oh, look what I found. <laughs> okay, now somebody tell me, what does this Vietnamese. say? Is this Vietnamese for coffee? Yes, it is. Coffee? Yes. Okay. Yes. Original coffee. Oh, original. Okay. Original what... coffee, Coca Cola. Okay. And what does Wen Chat mean? What? What does Wen Chat Original. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Original coffee. Oh, okay. And what does Moi mean? That's new. 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 Okay, and what does Wong Kung Kam Juk mean? Drink with emotion. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very enjoy. interesting. Enjoy with the. Uh... Enjoy. Okay. Okay. Well, Atlanta is the home of Coca Cola. Let's go in the museum and look inside oh. the museum. Or wow. the world, the world of Coca-Cola. Okay, this could be you. <laughs> you can come to Atlanta and visit the world of Coca-Cola. This is uh, it showing how uh, it it looks like a place where they make Coca-Cola. It's not really, but this is what it looks like. I've been in the place where they make and they bottle. They put it in bottles and cans. Um, it's very interesting. Okay. So Atlanta is the headquarters of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. So this is a very important organization for health. And they do work all over the world. Okay. It's a very it's a very, very big organization. Lots and lots and lots of buildings. 
This is just one building out of many buildings that they had. <coughs> but um, this is part of the United States government. And this is the part of government that tries to make sure that Americans stay healthy. And I worked for this, uh, I worked for the CDC uh, for a long time. Anyway, um, we call it CDC for Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. We just call it CDC. Okay, so Atlanta is the home of Martin Luther King Jr. Have you heard of Martin Luther King Jr. before? No, I have a dream. Yes. He is the, uh, the black man who, who said, I have a dream, and here he is. Here he is delivering I, his I have a dream speech, meaning now he fights for civil and human rights. And he's saying that black people and white people are all humans, and we should all, you know, um, get along together. And so uh, one of your students told me about a Vietnamese monk. Oh, now, Lord. can you can you pronounce this name for me? How do you pronounce this part of his name? Tich Nhat Han. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, something that I got from Wikipedia about Tich Nhat Hanh. Uh, let me see if I can make, yeah, okay. So can you read this? Is it big enough? Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, how about let me read this for you. And um, this will be a way of, um, you know, just learning how I would pronounce all these words. Okay, so I'm going to read this paragraph. Well, this is Martin Luther King Jr. and Tich Nhat Hanh. During his 1966 stay in the U.S., Nhat Hanh met Martin Luther King and urged him to publicly denounce the Vietnam War. In 1967, King gave the speech, Beyond Vietnam, a time to break silence at the Riverside Church in New York City, his first to publicly question U.S. involvement in Vietnam. Later that year, King nominated Nhat Hanh for the 1967 Nobel Peace Prize. In his nomination, King said, I do not personally know of anyone more worthy of this prize than this gentle monk from Vietnam. His ideas for peace, if applied, would build a monument to ecumenism, to world brotherhood, to humanity. Okay, the rest is not important. So in other words, Atlanta has a connection with Vietnam through Thich Nhat Hanh and Martin Luther King. Okay. Mm. All right. This is um, a fairly new museum it is the National Center for Civil and Human Rights, and it's in Atlanta. You can visit that place. This could be you right here. <laughs> okay, Atlanta is the home of CNN. Oh. The news, if you know CNN, this is their home. 
in Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Atlanta is also uh, a center of hip hop. Mm. Okay, these are um, a couple of years ago, 20, 2019, these were the top 10 hip hop, hip hop artists out of Atlanta. And the reason they call Atlanta the ATL is because that's the name of the airport, ATL. Okay, so I don't know if you know these artists, these hip hop artists, but they're, these are all from Atlanta. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's some Atlanta nightlife. This seems lively. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I think, oh, and this is uh, a park downtown where you can listen to music for free. It's free. You can just go and listen to the music in the park for free. Isn't that nice? They Do you have it. a favorite place in Atlanta? Oh, uh, I have lots of favorite places in Atlanta. <laughs> I really love the Botanical Garden. Uh, it's a very interesting, it's a very big garden right in the middle of downtown Atlanta. Um, but I, I don't know, I have, the reason I like Atlanta is because there's so many things to do and it's also very international. There are uh, restaurants from lots and lots of different countries, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, China, Korea, uh, and then, you know, all kinds of European restaurants, uh, South American restaurants, Central American restaurants. Atlanta is a very, um, a very diverse city people of lots of different nationalities, people of different races, people of different cultures and ethnicities. And uh, so I like Atlanta because it's diverse. Any questions about Atlanta? Anything anybody wants to say? <laughs> Does anybody want to talk about Hue or you know your or Vietnam? Anything you want to say about your country? Well, Hue is very quiet if you compare it to Atlanta. Really? At least in nighttime. Ah, okay. Yeah, Hue is cold. A quietest place in Vietnam. It's the most quietest place. Really? Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would not have thought that, but uh, the quietest place in Vietnam. So compared to Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City, way is quiet. Okay. <laughs> right. Right. Do you like that? Do you like? Are you proud of that? Yes, of course. Okay. I mean, we're used to that. <laughs> Do you ever go and visit Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City? Before the pandemic, yes. Before the pandemic. Yeah, okay. I understand. Yeah, I'm very lucky. I got two vaccinations uh, in February. Mm. So I was lucky to get vaccinated. <laughs> Anybody have any questions for me about anything? Did you get any fever after getting the vaccine? No, I, I'm, I, I was fine. I didn't have any side effects. I didn't have a headache. I didn't, ha I didn't feel bad. I was fine. But not everybody is that way. I heard other um, friends of mine say that they felt bad after the second shot. 
They didn't feel bad after the first shot, but they felt bad after the second shot. But I didn't have any side effects. I was lucky. We are waiting to have a vaccine. Really? Okay. <laughs> Um, I had the I had the Pfizer vaccination. Mm. I'll put it in chat. Oh, I had the Pfizer vaccination, and I got my last one in February, so I should be fully inoculated you now. Okay, um, I thought we could play a game. Uh, does anybody have any questions or should we go play a game? Okay, let's play a game. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Let me close this. Gahoo! Yes, Kahoot. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I. <laughs> you like Kahoot? Yes. I do too. Okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, I got to log in first. Okay, I've got to go find the game. Sorry, it's taken me a little while to find it. Okay. Okay. Get ready. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, what? Oh. Can you see it? This looks familiar. Yes. <laughs> you go to www.kahoot.it. You enter the game pin, 5709070, and then enter your name. <laughs> Good. Come on, everybody. Good. During the game, you can still join 
uh, the number for the pin number will be in the bottom right corner of the game. So you can still join after we begin. Okay, good. We got 20 players, 22 players. Wow, that's great. Okay, this game is going to be very easy for you, okay? Easy, easy, easy. It's about family. Okay, so once I start the game, if you want to join, the number will be in the bottom right corner. Okay, good. We got 28 players. Here we go. What? Oh, sorry. Oh, that's... Oh. I'm sorry, everybody. I got the wrong game. <laughs> uh, oh, no. I'm sorry. I, I made a mistake. I apologize. Let's do this. Hold on. Let me see. Um, let's take a quick break. And when we come back from the break, we'll play a game. Okay? So take a five... Let me see, okay. where is it? Take a five minute break. Okay. I'll put it Something in chat. Something is harder than before? Um, I'm not sure, I'm, I might change the game that we're gonna play. I think we'll, I'll decide in five minutes. <laughs> okay, take a five minute break and then come back. Okay. Take your time. Yes.
Okay, everybody, let's get back together, please. Okay, we're just about to start. Everybody, come on. Okay, the new pin is 676-403. Here we go. The number will be in the bottom right if you still want to join. Here we go. Free time activities, okay? Kids like to make Kids like to make bubbles Bubbles Bubbles, okay, that's a bubble. These are bubbles, okay, <laughs> bubbles. Do you drink bubble tea? Bubble. <laughs> yeah, bubble tea I think is a Thai specialty. Okay, here we go. What's the name of this sport? Yep. Baseball. This is baseball. Yeah. Atlanta has a good baseball team. All right. Um, today is an important day in Atlanta baseball because they're going to open the stadium, the Atlanta baseball stadium, so that everybody can come to the stadium 100% today for the first day in over a year. So it's an important baseball day in Atlanta. The stadium is open. Okay, here we go, baseball. Good, 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 name this sport. The faster you answer, the more points you get. Ah, most people got that one. Golf, golf. Listen to music oh. on, what do you call this? This is vinyl, vinyl. Vinyl is old technology, but it's popular again.
because it's, it sounds so good, okay? High quality music. Good, good, good. Name the sport. Whoa. Mountain biking, yeah, mountain biking, bike or bicycle. There's no motor, so there's no motor and there's no motorcycle, it's just a bike or bicycle. Most people say bike. Good, good, good. What sport is this? Okay. <laughs> stock car stock racing. Car racing. <laughs> yeah, stock cars are like Nissans and Ford, Chevrolet, Hyundai. Here we go. They are practicing. Martial arts, spelled M-A-R-T-I-A-L, martial arts, martial arts. Okay, this word marital with I-T means marriage. It has to do with marriage, but this word is martial, martial arts. Okay, marital spat would mean uh, an argument between husband and wife. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Name the sport. American football. You see the helmets and the shoulder pads and all that. That's American football. All right. What sport is this? Everybody got that one? Soccer. Good. Also called football. What sport? Hurry up. Tennis. That is tennis. Tennis. <clears throat> this is yoga, dancing. Dancing. Yes, good. This is Ballet, classical music, a play, a rock concert. Well, I can't control my mouse. Something's wrong here. Oh. Okay, that's a rock concert. 
This is cellos, violins. Violins, cellos are much bigger. Three in a, a row. Wai Tuang is back in the game. Okay, good. Name this sport. Grasshopper, locust, spider, cricket. Cricket. Yeah, that's cricket. Cricket is not popular in the United States. It's not. Okay, some people play, but not many. Cricket. This is... This is a wind instrument. You have to use your breath, your lungs. A wind instrument. A trumpet. This is... Painting, painting, okay. This is yoga, ballet. This is ballet. Okay. What do you call this lady who dances ballet? What do you call her? Ballerina. She is a ballerina. Also, you could call her a ballet dancer. Okay, good. Okay, so you knew ballerina. Do you know the name of the dress that a ballerina wears? <laughs> I don't know. It's an interesting name. It's called a Tutu. 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 Okay. Yeah. Tutu. Tutu. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. She likes to. She likes to. She likes to go dancing. She likes to go dancing. Do you like to go dancing? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. Oh, yes, no, yes, no. All right, good. <laughs> These guys like to play. Tennis, badminton, racquetball, squash. That is racquetball. It's a short racket, kind of a big ball made out of rubber. And here it is on the wall, racquetball, okay? <laughs> so this is racquetball. Racquetball is a lot of fun. If you haven't tried it, you should sometime. Okay, here we go. She likes to... <laughs> she 
She likes to jump rope. She likes to jump rope. She's jumping and here's the rope. She likes to jump rope. Good, good, good. This is... This is wine. Wine comes from grapes and grapes grow on a vine, but this is wine. They are. There can be more than one right answer here. There can be more than one right answer. for a walk or they are taking a walk. There are two correct answers here. Either one works. They are out for a walk. They are taking a walk. Either one is correct. I hope you're learning something. Okay, this is shopping. Everybody likes shopping, right? Okay, this is... Baking. Does everybody want one of these? Yes. Want one of these? <laughs> okay. These are pastries. And to make a pastry, you need to do baking. So baking. This is Tai Chi, Tai Chi. Okay, not Chai Tea, but Tai Chi. <laughs> okay, good. We like to... Only one correct answer here. Excellent, you did very well. Okay, hang out with friends. Hang out, okay? If you wanna um, spend time with someone, you can say, hey, do you wanna hang out? Okay, and what are they doing here? Taking Why a selfie. Taking selfie. a selfie, okay, good. <laughs> taking a selfie, all right. All right, taking a selfie. We like to only one correct answer here. Be careful.
Cook in the Kitchen, Kitchen with a T, K-I-T-C-H-E-N, Kitchen. All right. Good, good, good. In my free time, I like to... Go to the movies, go to the movies. Can you go to the movies and weigh now? No. No? Yeah. I, yeah, I think, uh, I think maybe I can go to the movies, but you have to sit far apart and wear a mask. Okay. I think you have it better in way than I have it in Atlanta though with the pandemic. In my free time, I like to... Just relax. Yeah, just relax. <laughs> I like to Go scuba diving. This is not snorkeling, this is scuba diving. You can tell because of the bubbles and the air tank on their back. So this is not snorkeling, this is scuba diving. Okay, any questions? Any comments? Okay, here we go. This lady is... This lady is visiting an art museum. Good, everybody got that one. I like to. Notice there are no pots. There are no pots in the picture here. Make crafts, yeah. There's, um, there's clay in this picture, but there are no pots. If you mold clay like this, it's called ceramics, ceramics, but there are no pots in this picture. So they're not making pottery. Okay. I like to... Travel and visit other cities, not take a cruise because it's not on a boat or a ship. Okay, what city is this, somebody? What city? London. London, okay. And what is the name of this clock? Mm, Big Ben. Big Ben. Yes, very good. This is Big Ben. Okay, excellent. All right, she likes to <laughs> 
She likes to sing into a mic, okay, or microphone. This is the microphone or mic. Here we go. I like to. Uh, no, this is not a helicopter and you can't get in this. Here in the United States, we call this a drone. I think you call it in Vietnam, you call it a fly cam. Oh. Is that right? Yes. Okay. In the United States, we call this a drone. A drone. All right. She likes to play. G U I T A R, guitar. Good. What is this? Watch TV. No, put on a watch would be a, you know, something you put on your wrist to tell time. This is watch TV. Watch TV. This is. Only one correct answer. <clears throat> Break dancing. Break dancing. Break dancing. Good, good, good. This is. Oh, wow, 12 people got it. This is capoeira. Capoeira. It comes from Brazil. And it looks like fighting, but it's not. <laughs> uh, it's really dancing, but it's it looks like fighting, but it's really dancing. Okay, and they use music um, along with this. And um, so this is called capoeira from Brazil. Okay. They are only one correct answer. They are working out. They're working out. They're exercising. They're working out. Okay, it's one of those phrasal verbs in English, work out. All right. What's happening? The boy is laughing, everybody got it. Good, all right, excellent. What are they doing?
parkour, parkour. This is parkour. It's like uh, doing acrobatics in the city, um, using things in the city. <clears throat> um, acrobatics in the city, parkour. Um, okay, did you learn something in this game? That was the last question. Did you learn something? Because if you learn something, you are a winner, okay? So the main reason we play is to learn. So if you learn something, you're a winner. Now let's go see who got the top three. Okay, Ta came in third. All right, Jung, 35 out of 42, but a little bit faster. So that's good. And Tu win, you win. Uyin, how do I say that? Uyin? Tu Uyin. Tu Uyin, okay. Thank you. Um, okay, so congratulations to Uyin. Um, let's see how everybody feels about that. I want you to give me some feedback. Apparently, these were the two really hard ones for everybody. You, as a class, you got 61% correct. That's pretty good. Okay, now I want you to tell me how you feel about the game. Did you learn something? Do you recommend it? How do you feel about that game? Give me some feedback, please. Okay. You can be honest. It's okay. If you didn't like it, you can tell me. <laughs> Uh, everybody give me some feedback, please. Okay, we had a little bit of a yellow feeling. That's all right. Yeah, the game is so funny. Oh, okay. Um, in English, you would say the game is fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah fun. Funny yeah, is I a different can, thing. I can learn a lot of things, like the name of many uh, the name of the sport that I uh, never that I have never known it before. I was hoping so. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, um, when I teach English to people from different parts of the world, uh, I also learn from my students. And so, if you know some sports that I don't know or that weren't in the game, you can tell me a sport that you know. Okay, so like capoeira, I learned from students from Brazil. <coughs> um, <coughs> anyway, yeah. Um, I hope that you learned something. If you did, that's great. That's the whole reason we do it. Does anybody have any comments? Do you want to say anything or do you have any questions? So you gave it a 4.8. That's pretty good. That means I think you liked it. Okay. It was a little bit of frustration, a little bit of yellow feeling, but I, that, I understand that. If you want to tell me um, how to make it better, um, you know, I can always take advice from students and make things better. But if you want to tell me in chat, you can tell me in private in chat, or you can tell me um, right now on, uh, on Zoom, you can tell me how you feel about it. Okay, so if you learn something in that game, you are a winner, okay? <laughs> Not just the top three. If you learn something, you're a winner. All right. Anybody want to say anything or ask anything? Mm. Well, the game was a little laggy, but that's not the game's fault. That's my fault. Oh. My internet is a little laggy. 
Oh, yeah, we do sometimes have problems with that. Um, and I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I, you know, we're uh, during the pandemic, everybody is on the internet. Young people, old people, students, office workers, everybody. <laughs> so it's a it's a real challenge. Maybe that'll make our um, our internet better after the pandemic. Maybe it'll be better. Who wants to play another game? Okay, there's one. Anybody else want to play another game? I'm in. Way. Way. Okay, good. I like to see your hands go up. Uh, this game is about family. And um, it's not so easy. This one is a little more difficult, a little harder. Uh, you'll see what I mean when we start. So, uh, but if uh, this is going to try to help you to learn uh, English vocabulary about family. Is your family important to you? Yes, I'm sure your family is very important to you. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Here we go. to your name. You don't want to be a number. You can go back and change it. You want to go back and change that to your name? <laughs> I can wait for you if you want to change that back to your name. You want to change this to your name? You can go back and change it. to your name so we know who you are. We can wait for you. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, good. Now ah, we got 29 people. Excellent. Remember, you can still join after we begin. The number will be in the bottom right corner. Guys, I just want you to know that I can choose the music, and this music is called 80s Vibe. <laughs> okay, here we go. My father's wife 
is my my father's wife is my my father's wife is my mother Okay, so you see it's logical, but it's not how you're used to thinking about it. <laughs> my father's wife is my mother, right? Okay, so I told you it was a little more difficult. So let's see how you did on that first one. Ta, okay, ten, tui. Wang an, van an. All right, good. My brother in law is my. My brother in law is my. My brother-in-law is my wife's brother. No, nope. he's your brother. So it's got to be a man, not a woman. And in-law means by marriage. So he's not really your brother, but he's your wife's brother. So it's your brother-in-law. So my brother-in-law is my wife's brother. Okay, it makes you think, doesn't it? You have to really think <laughs> in English. Okay. Ah, Chung, Lin, Tum. Oh, here we go. Got some competition. I married a woman. She's my. Oh, we got that one really fast. Oh, wow, we've got 34 people playing. That's wonderful. Okay, I married a woman, she's my wife. My grandmother is... My grandmother is my mother's mother. My grandmother is my mother's mother. None of the other ones work. Okay, here we go. My son's mother is my... I'm going to put you on mute because I'm hearing a lot of noise coming in. My son's mother is my wife. My son's mother is my wife. Okay. <laughs> you don't think about it being your son's mother, right? Okay, here we go. Ein is the highest climber. Okay, very good, Ein. My sister is my father's. My, sis my sister is my father's. My sister is my father's daughter. My sister is my father's daughter. Okay, 
It's a little tricky. My husband's mother is my... My husband's mother is my... My husband's mother is my mother-in-law. Mother-in-law is through marriage. So in-law means through marriage. She's not really your mother, it's your wife's mother. I mean, your husband's mother. So she is your mother-in-law. All right, good. My wife and I have a child. She is our... Daughter. Okay, here's your clue. She. She is our daughter. She. If it was son, it would be he, right? So here's your clue. She is our daughter. All right. My wife's father is my... My wife's father is my... Father-in-law or father through marriage. My wife's father is my father-in-law. Okay. Jung is on a streak. My brother's daughter is my... My brother's daughter is my My brother's daughter is my niece niece my brother's daughter is my niece Okay. My brother's daughter is my niece. So niece is a female, a girl, woman. Okay. I'm his daughter. He's my, I'm his daughter. He's my, He's my father, okay? I'm his daughter. He's my father. Does that make sense? Is that logical? Okay. <laughs> okay, it's kind of funny. <clears throat> but here we go. My child is a boy. He's my... He's my son. My child, my child is a boy. He's my son. All right. My wife and I have two.
children. The plural of child is children. Um, and it does not have an S on it. Children is the plural form of child. Okay, good. I hope you're learning something. My sister's son is my... My sister's son is my... Nephew, nephew. My sister's son is my nephew, nephew, my nephew. My brother is my daughter's my brother is my daughter's uncle, uncle, uncle. Okay. My brother is my daughter's uncle. All right, my brother is my daughter's uncle. Here we go. Okay. My mother's brother's daughter is my, my mother's brother's daughter is my, Cousin, C-O-U-S-I-N, C-O-U-S-I-N. My, my mother's brother's daughter is my cousin. Notice that cousin is both male and female, both boy and girl, both man and woman, okay? Cousin is female cousin, male cousin is the same. So there's something easy in English, okay? <laughs> cousin. All right, we're going to the last question. Lean is making a comeback with three in a row. That's great. Okay, let's go to the last question. I'm her nephew. She's my... I'm her nephew, she's my, she's my aunt. Okay, she's my aunt. Some people in the United States pronounce this word aunt. I say aunt, it sounds just like the insect, you know, but I say aunt, some people say aunt. Both are okay. All right. So, wow, 23 people got that one. That's good. Um, let's see how everybody did. But remember, if you learn something, you are a winner. Okay, so we play to learn. Okay, we play to learn. All right, let's see who the top three were. Han with 13 out of 17. Tan. Wen, 15 out of 17. And Jiang with 17 out of 17. Wow. Congratulations, everybody. Now, let me see how you feel about this game. So you got 50% correct. So that was a hard game. All right. That was a hard game. Let's see how you felt about it. Please give me some feedback. <clears throat> did you learn something? Do you recommend it? How did it make you feel? Ooh, okay. 
<laughs> we got lots of red this time. Okay. And some yellow. <laughs> okay. So it was frustrating, right? Because you're not used to thinking about your mother as your, uh, ab about your wife as your son's mother, right? Okay. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. I appreciate that. That's very good. Thank you. All right. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that is a is definitely um, a game where you have to think and think fast. Okay, and I think I only gave you twenty seconds on each one, so it it's definitely not an easy game. So you can tell your friends that you played a hard game today. <laughs> okay. Um, if you learned something, I hope that you did learn something. And um, if even if it was difficult for you, doing something difficult and um, and participating, if, if it made you think, that's good, okay? If it made you, you know, have to think, uh, 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 and you have to, in this game, you had to change your perspective, okay? So when you think about your wife as being your son's mother, that's like, oh, that's kind of weird, okay? That's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> so... That's definitely a game where you have to work out the logic and the perspective. I could see how that could make you see red. <laughs> In English, we have this expression. Okay, so you still gave it a 4.6, which is not bad. And I understand that it was difficult. So I'm gonna stop sharing. Uh, if something makes you mad, you can say, it made me, it made me see red, okay? Or you can say, that makes me see red. That means that makes me mad, okay, angry. So in American English, when we say he's mad, it means he's angry. In British English, you know, in, in England, if they say he's mad, that means he's crazy, okay? Are you mad? Meaning, are you crazy? But in American English, mad means angry, not crazy, okay? She's mad, that means she's angry. Anybody wanna say anything? Any comments, questions? Almost time to finish class. Anybody, Any, you wanna say anything? Do you like travel? I love travel. How many, uh, how many countries you have been traveled? Well, uh, I've been all over Europe. And I've been to many states in the United States, but I've never visited Asia. I would love to visit uh, Vietnam. So I've been to Europe, but not, oh, and I've been to Mexico. I went to Mexico two years ago. <laughs> Mexico is wonderful. <clears throat> Excellent food in Mexico. <clears throat> Beautiful. Very nice people. <clears throat> Mexico is not expensive. You can afford things in Mexico. <clears throat> okay. You're coughing a lot. Are you all right? It's because I'm talking so much. Oh. <laughs> I'm talking too much. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not sick. It's just talking too much. <clears throat> Any questions? Comments? Mm, how, how do you feel when you 
uh, teaching us online like this? Um, well, I tell you what, I, I feel better if I can see you. When I can't see you, it's not very much fun for me. <laughs> that's why I, I want everybody to turn their cameras on. So that's my honest opinion. Because when I can't see the students, I feel like you're not there. <laughs> so thank you for turning your cameras on. And thank you for that question. That was a good question. They, um, so um, what, what we say in English when like, um, okay, if I'm your teacher and you learn from me, I also want to learn from you. So sometimes you're the teacher, like you told me today that Hue is the quietest city in Vietnam. So you were the teacher and I was the student. So I got to learn something. And I love that, that's wonderful. And that's what we call a two-way street. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, um, class is a two-way street, I think. I like to learn from my students. And I also learned from you today that my book was right about looking at the person you're talking to. So you helped me learn about that. Hmm. Hmm. Do you have any other question about Hui? Um, Yes, what is your favorite meal in Hue? And can you put it in chat for me? What is your favorite thing to eat in Hue? One bowl? Yes, is you can say it's one of his trademark book. Oh, okay. Trademark, trademark meal, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. Did I say it right, bun bo? Yes. Okay. And bun hen? And what is bun hen? It's clam. You can see in the video that you've shown us. Oh, okay, okay. But he called it uh, come something. Yeah, boom uh, is noodle and come is rice. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. So, wait a minute. Come is rice and bun is noodles? Yes. Okay. Well, see, you're, you're being a good teacher now. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And let me ask you, I have a question for you about Hui. How do you, how do you, what transportation do you use in Hui? Do you ride a motor scooter? Do you walk? Do you take a bus? What do you do? Well, I usually use my bike to... Okay go around and go to the university too. Okay, so use a bike, no motor? You no, know, it's a motorbike. Oh, it is a motorbike, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh. Taxis are fine too, it's not really expensive. Really, okay. Is a taxi a car or is it a rickshaw or what? Oh, it's a cab. A cab. Okay, how many wheels? Well, four wheels. It's, te it's technically a car. It's technically a car. Okay, good. Okay, so it has doors that open and close? 
Yeah, yes. this is a normal car. Normal car. Okay. I'm just asking questions because I don't know. You know, I got to find out. <laughs> uh, do many people drive cars in way? Yes. Yes. Okay. No. Okay. And it depends on the weather too. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. One of the things we say in English is a lot. Okay. There are a lot of cars. Okay. Sometimes I'll put it I, in the chat. Sometimes I met met is as a traffic jam. You you have traffic jams in way? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let me show you an Atlanta traffic jam real quick. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to share this with you. This is an Atlanta traffic jam or pictures of Atlanta traffic jams. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. It's really bad. Sometimes oh. you just sit and you sit and you sit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least you're in a car. <laughs> yeah. I think it's worse when you're on a motorbike. Okay. Yeah, um, most people in Atlanta drive cars, most, not all. Um, students at the university use lots of different kinds of transportation. And I'm going to, I'm going to um, do a workshop for your school on transportation. And I'll talk about that when I do the workshop on transportation. That'll be in probably late May or June or July. Yeah. Okay. Anybody want to say anything else before we say goodbye? First of all, let me say thank you. It's an honor and a pleasure working with you. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Okay. Okay, well, it's almost 10 after, so you need to go get some food and some sleep. <laughs> so have a nice night. Thank you. 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 Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Okay, you too. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. You're all Bye. wonderful students. Okay. Thank you. I have to say good night. Yes, you say good night, and I, <laughs> I just say goodbye. <laughs> it's still morning for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's mid. It's nine a.m. in Vietnam. It's nine p.m. in Vietnam. Yeah, it's nine p.m. and for me, it's ten ten a.m. in the morning. See the oh. sunlight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Still morning for me. Okay, well, good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you bye very bye. much. Bye. bye. Thank you, teacher. Glad to see you. See you later, bye. alligator. <laughs> All right.